What's going on guys? In today's video, we're covering everything new for beta four of the developer beta of iOS 18. Starting off with the home page. If you go all the way to the very right in your app library, yeah, I know I have a lot, I need to reorganize them. The hidden album now looks like this, where previously it used to have like the little hidden album eye icon. Then another new change is the home icons. Because if we enter wiggle mode, go to edit, click, click customize, if you select the automatic option and go in control center and quickly disable dark mode and light mode, now it actually will adjust the icons as well. So long as you have the auto dark mode and light mode enabled. Then the stock icon also got a new update as well. Previously it had lights going through the middle. Now it's more darker than ever. And in control center, the flashlight animation says to be slightly retweaked, but one thing for sure is this animation is not only available on the Pro models anymore, it's also available on the iPhone 15s and then the 15 Plus, not just a Pro exclusive. And I'm pretty sure more iPhones will then follow like the iPhone 14 with a dynamic notch to also feature this cool flashlight torch animation. Now in Control Center, some of these icons also got updated as well. Just a minor refresh because the timer now looks like this, where previously the alarm was a full alarm icon. And now it looks like this. Then if we go to motor accessibility section, eye tracking can now be a toggle on demand control center item now. So you could disable it or enable it right here. Then getting out here, in the log page, if you go into customize, and if we select the log page icon, you'll find that the music icon has been removed. It's possible that there was a bug and Apple decided it was best just to remove it entirely because you'll see it's no longer here. And same goes for the shortcut. But nonetheless, RCS is now available in other regions, the UK, as well as Spain. And here in the States, it's also becoming more stable across other carriers like Verizon's and such. So massive good improvement for RCS. Then in the settings, iCloud now has its own little tab right here. You quickly click on it, followed by an interesting animation over here. So now you don't have to go into your profile settings to have access to your iCloud. And then in the camera section, by going into the preserve settings, we now have this new tool where it says controls menu. And then while iPhone mirroring your screen on your Mac computer, you now have the freedom to adjust the size to your own personal preference instead of just being fixed to a very small window. And then in terms of CarPlay, we got new wallpapers, which follow the ideal wallpaper that was introduced for iOS 18. And the podcast app now will give you download arrows showing you which podcast episodes is installed on your iPhone. In addition to that, a new update will be located in the music media plane as the album artwork is larger depending on your vehicle's screen. So if your unit supports a larger display, the album artwork is slightly larger. And that's all the new updates that's worth talking about. Now, in case you're new, the compatible devices are as listed in this video. Feel free to pause, but basically, if you have an iPhone XS or newer, your phone is compatible. Same applies for the second generation iPhone SE. And if you're wondering when we will be receiving the new Apple Intelligence update on our iPhones, uh, that is yet unknown. Maybe the next beta update, beta five, may include it, but it's a big, massive may. But regardless, it will become available during the launch of the next generations of iPhones sometime in September. But beta five is likely to be released in the next two more weeks. So possibly the end of July or the beginning of August. And if you're wondering what kind of issues am I experiencing using it on my iPhone 15 Pro, the developer beta, beta four, I think I noticed it's just been causing my phone to overheat more and battery life has not been the greatest. It's not the worst, but I have noticed a decrease of overall battery life with a dramatic heat effect with the iPhone. So my iPhone has been getting quite warm, which is why it's not recommended to install the beta updates on your personal device. Luckily for me, I'm in a position where I have a lot of iPhones to experiment with. And then aside from the overheating issues on the iPhone 15 Pro, CarPlay is also somewhat buggy on me because the first beta allowed us to record while media is playing. This was one of the new features for iOS 18. CarPlay, beta three, beta four, the record while media is playing at the same time doesn't tend to work. So unfortunately that's still buggy. But other than that, there you guys have it. If you'd like to watch more, highly recommend checking out that video over there where I highlight all the new stuff that's available for CarPlay on iOS 18. Thank you so much for watching.